A warning tonight for parents. A new report shows the uptick in child sexual abuse materials created using artificial intelligence online. Here in Louisville, a recent case highlights this problem. In February, a St. Martyr Catholic school teacher was charged, accused of creating inappropriate images of students. Jordan Fox is accused of using graduation photos, manipulating them into explicit photos. A federal judge decided to keep him in custody until his trial. Well, now states are creating laws to address these kinds of crimes. Our station in Charlotte is looking into a similar case. Here's what they found about this new kind of crime as artificial intelligence popularity explodes. This is so disturbing because it really could happen to any of us. A local child psychiatrist used photos from social media accounts of women he knew. Then he used AI to turn those photos into nudes. And authorities say students are using similar methods to bully their classmates. I was not sure at first what I was looking at. I just knew that something had happened to this image. We started to find videos that Mr. Tatum was producing. Charlotte child psychiatrist David Tatum convicted of producing child porn. And you won't believe how he did it. We received a tip that someone in the community had something on their computer and we weren't really sure what it was. An innocent photo, one we've all posed for, turned into something shocking and disturbing. So was it a back to school, like first day of school? It was a first day of school photo. Oh my God. Five young girls posed for this picture decades ago. One of them posted it recently. He took this photo off of a social media account that was shared just saying, remember this great day. It was a group of children ranging from elementary school up through early high school. And Mr. Tatum took that photo and altered it so that he could see all of the people in this photo nude. We saw two different types of images. We saw what we call an original image, and then we found a second image that looked altered, that it had the same face, but uh, the body was now nude. FBI agents say Tatum used an AI website to create the altered version of the photo. The website literally gives users the option to quote unquote, nudify photos. It matched very closely. You would have to really sit down and examine that photograph. For instance, the shoulder width was the same, the hip width was the same. It matched. If I were to present you some of the photographs, you would think that they were real. A lot of these women had to come to the realization that this image was altered by someone they didn't know, and now they were a victim of a federal crime. The agents say Tatum also used cameras to shoot unsuspecting women when he was out and about. How we describe it is uh, taking like an upskirt photograph of an unknowing person in the grocery store or in a place of employment to where that person could be walking up a staircase and they don't know that the person behind them has pulled out their cell phone and recording them walking up the stairs. It could be a woman wearing a skirt or a dress. Tatum was convicted last summer. The use of AI to create nude photos was a first of its kind case. Because of their work on the investigation, Charlotte's agents are now sharing what they learned with other law enforcement agencies across the country and with schools and parents. They say they're seeing a frightening increase in crimes using AI among school-aged kids as well. We're now seeing cases with um, kids being extorted with their images, and it may not be them. They can't prove to someone else that it's not them because of the technology. It's something that is going to keep, keep continuing and keep happening. The agents say just as quickly as they discover websites and get them taken down, new ones pop up and are typically run overseas. So they say it is a good idea for all of us to think twice about photos that we all post. It's out of our hands where those photos end up. Back to you. And in Kentucky, a bill was passed to bring harsher penalties for crimes like this. It makes producing or digitizing images that depict sexual conduct by a minor a crime, even if the person uses a fake image or AI to create the image. The Center for Missing and Exploited Children, created by a cyber tip line, experts suggest talking to your kids about AI and what's appropriate to post online. That way they have the words to express it if something does come up.